We are finally flying off to South Korea and we'll be spending our first four and a half days of our nine-day trip in Jeju. We took a 2am flight on TUA Air heading straight to Incheon Airport in Seoul. You guys can check out my really quick TikTok review of this flight, I'll leave the link down below. Overall, it was alright, space was good for a budget flight, the only complaint I had were the uncomfortable seats but I guess you get what you pay for. Upon arriving at Incheon Airport, we never mapped our way to get on a straight train to Gimpo Airport. You can easily get a tea money card at any train station which you can use to get around Seoul. Once we landed in Jeju, the first thing we did was to collect our car. We rented one from Lotte and they will give you instructions on the location of their shuttle bus pickup point from the airport. After settling all the documentation, we collected our car and the first thing we did was dinner. We went to have Heimutang, which is seafood stew in Korean, at this popular restaurant called Sam Seong Hyo. I don't think I pronounced that correctly. It was just a quick 10 minute drive from the airport and we already saw the beautiful waters of Jeju along the way. Yeah! No, it's not in the What is that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the octopus that we ate. Hey, yeah. How's dinner? Good? Oh, then 9 upon 10. We're gonna get ourselves some kimbap for tomorrow's Halasan climb. It is 5 a.m. and we're going to climb Halasan. She's not ready. <laughs> She keeps trying to back out this morning. But we already bought all our drinking shoes, so we cannot back out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we got so forced into this commitment. By who? <laughs> I don't know, by ourselves. <laughs> Let's hope we survive. Mm. Eight hours of climbing. There are two trails that go up to the peak of Mount Halasan, and we decided to go up the trail called Siong Panak and head down the one called Guanam Sa. Reason being is that Siong Panak is a gentler but longer slope, so it will be less torturous to climb up this one. We just started our Halasan climb, and it's 609 now. I'm documenting this to see how long we take to get to the top. By the way, y'all have to make a reservation and bring your passport when y'all come to Halasan to climb. If not, they won't let you up. So it has been 70 minutes and we are one third there already. So maybe we can reach there before 12 actually. Let's 
steps are never ending. Are you from me? Are you from the top? I think one hour. Oh my god, I cannot even talk properly. One hour? I think so. Look at the hey. It's not very near. Oh, not funny. Yeah, one hour. I think it's gentler. I think I'm seeing stars with this. Are you okay? You know, just now I read the signboard while I'm moving. I don't know. I think it's like the altitude. Yeah. I'm super tired. Is altitude is altitude enough? It's never ending. The stairs are never ending. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> Catching me slacking. Not so bad. <laughs> I regret this. <laughs> So just some tips for your Mount Halasan hike. Do remember to bring walking sticks and a good pair of trekking shoes. You'll definitely need it as some parts of the routes are rocky. Do not rest for too long between stops as this will prolong your suffering. So try to get over and done with it as quickly as possible. It is quite a challenging hike so do be mentally prepared to walk for 8 to 9 hours or more. This is why we decided to start really early in the morning. Lastly, it's super windy especially nearing the peak so bring a warm jacket for your hike. Chicken sausage. I think this is better than the cheese one. <laughs> She's very into the crows here, by the way. Because they, they look very cute compared to the ones in Singapore. <laughs> like, they are a lot fatter. At the bottom, the climb down was not easy as well, so it's like quite rocky. But overall, I would say it was a really, really fun experience. Um, but do expect it to be really, really tiring. Also, a really nice achievement, I guess. But it's not something that I would be climbing again anytime in the future. I'm exhausted. I just want to go and eat some barbecue pork and lie on my bed. We started the climb at 6 over 9 am so it took us over 9 hours to finish it and every part of our body is aching no, just the waist down oh yeah true just the waist down and your shoulders because you carry the backpack and maybe your elbow because you hold on to the trekking stick <laughs> which is almost every part of your body how does it feel like to walk for 9 hours and complete it how do you feel you feel like a champion i just want to get a taxi <laughs> she just wants to lie in bed too We're gonna eat black pork now, but we're so tired. I got 1% energy to pick up the meat and put it inside my
We are going to Yudo Island today and I have a couple of tips here. Upon arriving at Seongsan Port, you will need to take this piece of paper from the tables and fill it up with your information. Then head over to the counter to buy your ferry tickets. We got the ones heading to Haomokdon Port in Yudo Island. We really wanted to rent an electric car on the island but most of the shops near the port did not accept our international driving license. So we walked about 300 meters north of the port till we reached this white building called Yudo Electric Rent Car. This was the only shop that accepted our driving license and it was 40,000 won for 3 hours. They gave us a quick briefing on how to use it in Korean which my friend did a great job at understanding and off we went. We drove clockwise around the island and visited several spots as well as trying the famous peanut ice cream. Scream. Yeah, we did it. Hey, I think I can dump my bag at the corner here. <laughs> no. Why is the belt not going in? What are you doing? The whole of space they give you in this car. It's literally just two people. Did you see what he asked me just now? He asked you, is it you understand Korean? Yeah, then I was like, oh, let's go. A little bit, then he laughed. At least you try. You actually sort of like. Did well enough for him to think that you can speak Korean. Good job. Hey guys, so anyway, we reached Yudo Island from Hao Mok Dong Port, right? And most of the rental shops then didn't want to let us borrow uh, an electric car because we are Weigo Geek. Which is foreigner in Korean. Anyway, when we alighted from the port, I have no back mirror. Okay, walk yes, to video. your left all the way uh, until you see this place that has a lot of white colour electric cars. So they were nice enough to let us rent one, even on an international permit. Yeah, because we refused to cycle after yesterday's Halasa trip. Upon arriving back in Jeju, we went to have lunch slash dinner at Myeongjin Abalone. I loved the grilled abalones here, it was nicely charred, the abalone porridge was good but nothing special and they also served super good mackerel as a complimentary dish.
Sometimes get it like splatter. It will. Yeah. What is this actually? Perilla powder. Is it like salty? Remember that day you had that leaf that you hated? The leaf that, that I hated? That leaf that you hated? This? Yeah. Oh my god, well I hate this. <laughs> this is day four of Jeju and we are stopping to take photos with the dying cherry blossoms. Never focus. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Our flight to go back to Seoul is cancelled and we tried to rebook it on the same day but they cancelled all the flights today because of the bad weather. Um, so now we're stuck in Jeju for another day and we are booking another hotel to stay for one night and also renting a car for one more day. Look at all the cancelled flights guys. Gladys did a good job at booking everything again. So due to the bad weather, Jeju Air told us that they will contact us again in the afternoon if they can put us on another flight for that day. We killed time by eating breakfast at this place, I'll put the name down below. It was a nice warm meal in the rainy weather and the noodles were soft and chewy. I did find the pork a little too dry though. We then went to get ourselves some coffee and it was my first time trying Dalgona. It was nice at first but it got a little too sweet for me after a while. Luckily for us, Jeju Air did contact us in the afternoon and we were given a 3.30pm flight to Seoul. Yes, we did lose some money in the rebooking but we were just glad the rest of our travel plans to Seoul were not ruined and we were more than happy to get on it. So that's it for Jeju and I'll see you guys in my next video for our vlog in Seoul. We're in Seoul!